All right, joining me now on Inside TBT, recurring guest Jalen Barford. Welcome back to the show. Appreciate you for having me, brother. Appreciate you for having me. Absolutely. So we're going to talk TBT. We're going to talk about your new slash old team that you're playing on. But first, you're fresh off a win last night in Moscow. Give me the rundown of your season and where it stands right now. Uh, right now the season going good. We just uh finished the semifinals last night. We going to the finals, waiting on our opponent. Uh, we played a good uh Cheska team, a well known European team, one of the uh, bigger powerhouses in Russia, really the world. So we knocked them off last night, and uh we just ready to keep going and try to get us a championship. How'd you play last night? I played good last. Night. I was flirting with a triple double, man. I had uh seventeen points. Nine rebounds and seven assists. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was pretty cool last night. I was efficient, you know, uh, control of the game, most of the game. You know, uh, it was a good game, real, uh, real good game. Well, that's awesome. I'm going to tweet out the details here. By the time this comes out, that game may be, you know, long gone. You'll be the, the champion of Russia, you know, to put it. But I'll, I'll I hope so. those details. Let's talk some TBT. Last year, the last two years, you played with Team Arkansas. You were awesome. You know, game winners, big dunks, big threes. Before we talk about your new team, how fun was that to get to you know rep Arkansas again? Uh, it was it was it was good. You know, what I mean, uh, it was fun. It was a good two years with the Arkansas uh, team. We had a good time. Uh, met some great people, a great organization. You know, to bring in for the summer. But uh, you know, I just decided to go back home and rep the hometown for some reason. I don't know why. But I just decided to do it. My uh, my long term friend, Desante Bradford, uh, told me he wanted to lock in together this summer. So we found the opportunity. So we're going to try to pull it off. We're going to some championship, bring it back to Jackson, make people happy, and have a good summer. So I don't know if you know this, but Jackson's actually got a team in the soccer tournament too, which is TBT's version of soccer, the Jackson Tennessee Boom. Are you going to show up and play? Well, I didn't know that, but I will pull up, though. I'll support. I didn't know they was playing. I didn't know they did that, but I'll, I'll support, pull up, man. I'll be a sponsor or something, maybe. I love it. So you, you mentioned it right there. You're back with the underdogs where you started your TBT career. You didn't make a name for yourself as a basketball player, but by the time you, you know, signed with Team Arkansas, everyone knew TBT Jalen Barford from what you guys did and what, what you were able to do with the underdogs. Who, who's on the squad with you this year besides DeSanta, who I'm actually talking to here in a few minutes? Uh, we got a few good names. Uh, we start really starting the team over, uh, but uh, we still keeping like some of our core players. But uh, like like Anthony Sampson and uh, Big Boy, uh, X one the Long Brothers, they they're probably a coach. But uh, we keeping uh, Leland Robinson and TJ. Um, who else we got? Uh, George. With the dread, it's the shooter, sharpshooter. Uh, we got some good pieces. We got uh, George Bernardo. I know some people may not know him, but heard the name, I'm sure. But we got him, too. He's a West Tennessee guy. So we got some good pieces. We got uh, some good players that play overseas, too, as well. So we got a versatile team right now. And we just uh, ready to show people what we can do. Are you recruiting at all? Are you out there texting guys, calling guys, hey, we got to do this? Uh, just a little bit, but I ain't gonna beg nobody to play, man. Cause I mean, people got stuff doing the summer. They might not want to play, you know how that go, but whatever the case may be. But I feel like we got the right team to uh, play in the TBT tournament for six games to lock in and just win some money. Barford and Bradford is going to be quite the duo and also tough for, you know, announcers and analysts to yeah. not mess up. What, what do you got to say about, you know, being able to play with him? Uh, that would be this would be my our first time playing together actually like in a real basketball setting besides pickup. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I think we play well together. Uh, we know each other game well. I think we probably be, probably be one of the best backcourts in TBT. Probably TBT history actually if we uh do our job, do we supposed to do, and uh just have fun, and get some good highlights, give a good show, and win games. I'm excited to see it. I'm sure you're excited to play. But it wouldn't be an inside TBT interview if I didn't ask you some fun questions that had nothing to do with basketball. So talk to me. The first question: You're in Russia. 
Okay. Right. What's your go-to place in Russia when you're like, I need some American food? What's the best American place near you? Uh, really, KFC. KFC pretty good over here. Uh, Papa John's good. And they got this spot, this place called Jimmy Choo. It's like chicken fried rice. They serve uh, that type of stuff, so it's pretty good, too. But I, uh, yeah, KFC really... It had me in a, in a chokehold for a little minute, but it, it's I had to lay off with game, make the game wait, so I had to chill on that. Does the Russian KFC have any different items that you know you don't get in America? Nah, they just got chicken and fries, bro. Like they just got chicken wings, chicken tenders, chicken sandwiches, and fries, and that's it. And it's it's actually better than the KFC at home, actually for sure. All right, well, no complaints there. When you're sitting around, you got nothing to do, you're icing, are you playing video games? Are you watching TV? What's your relaxing go-to move? Uh, just listen to music, chill, you know, talk on the phone, talk to people back at home. I don't, uh, watch. Yeah, I watch a little bit of shows sometimes, but mostly just chill, listen to music, just to catch the vibes. Who are we bumping these days? Right about now, uh, little baby been heavy on little baby gunner uh estg uh nba young boy just dropped some it's it's been crazy so i've been yeah i've been locked in on a lot of good music lately all right well there you go so obviously you know playing in russia you got to fly to russia i assume you don't drive or take a boat you got to fly there I'm sure you've picked up a lot of airline miles across all your time <laughs> playing basketball. Do you know how many miles you have stocked up right now? Bro, I don't even keep count of the miles. I should have. I got I got plenty, though, like plenty miles. I should. I could have, like, at least 20 free, free flights for sure. I, I thought I could. I talked to Keith Langford the other day, and he said he, you know, he's, like, getting ready to finish up his basketball career. He said he will fly for free for the rest of his life because of all the miles he has. Yeah, hey, that's the OG of European basketball right there. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. All right, I got one final question for you. There's a, there's a precursor question, though. Do you golf at all? No, I don't. Like, no. Okay, so non-golf question then. But it's presented by – this final question is presented by Chip Golf Company. They make – excellent golf gloves so if you are a golfer get a glove or if you're just starting you should get a glove great glove for you my question for you though what's the craziest equipment malfunction you've had in your basketball career crazy equipment malfunction or like someone forgetting a jersey forgetting their shoes just something involving equipment shoes jerseys etc uh i probably i ain't never got my shoes real but I'd probably say my compression shorts and, like, my undershirt. And I feel like if I don't have that, it's like I'm just – I'm out of whack. Like, I feel like I'm going to have a bad game or something like that. I got playing regular draws, and that's bad for me. Like, you know how that go. So, yeah, that's probably it. But I ain't never forgot no shoes. Teammates forgot shoes. I don't know how. I just call them dumb. Like, how can you get your shoes? You need them at everything. So, But draws and undershirt for sure. Do you have a go-to pair of underwear? Like, I, I play basketball once a week, and I wear the same shorts, the same underwear, and the same socks every time I play. It's just <laughs> comfortable. Do you have, like, a go-to pair of underwear that you, when you see it at the top of the drawer, you're like, let's go, I got it? Nah, not for real. I just got, I really got all black underwear, to be honest with you. So I just grab them and go. But, you know, I, w I wish I had that. That superstition, that'd be good for me, probably. I might try that. I might tap into that. All right, well, there you go. Jalen Barford, the biggest dog in TBT, going back to the underdogs. Any questions for me? You always got some good ones. Uh, look, I, think I really haven't been tapped in with the TBT, man. Like, I feel like it's a lot of good teams. I've seen some names. Like you said, Keith Langford playing. Who are you playing in Kansas? The yeah, Kansas so I'll, I'll give you a quick little rundown. Kansas team, Mizzou team, Texas team, Florida team, UMass team, Louisville team. Those have been the big announcements of teams that have applied. But Louisville is hosting. So they're in. They're hosting. Peyton Siva's playing. It's going to be crazy. How they already hosting? It's their first year, right? 
Hey, you get Peyton Siva, you can host too. That is crazy. I gotta talk to TVT. I still ain't got my host yet. It's crazy. Well, where sure do you want? Is. Where do you want to host it? Man, either we can have it in Nashville, Jackson, Memphis. Like you know, we just have it back in Memphis. It'll be good right now, especially you know because the Grizzlies playing good, the Tigers playing good. Had that in the summer. TVT in the summer. We got a Memphis team in, up there, so it'd be nice. So, where, but you know how that goes. Where would you want the games to be in Memphis? Because it couldn't be. It couldn't be at the Forum. That'd just be a little too big. Couldn't be at FedEx. Where would it be? Uh, it had to be at probably one of the biggest high schools out there. They got some good high schools out there. High school gyms. So I'm pretty sure, like, uh, I forgot the high school. They got some good high schools out there. Though. Or a small, smaller college, maybe. Something like that. What about turning the pyramid back into a basketball arena for TBT? That'll be smooth. That'll be very iconic and legendary, actually. They should tap into that. But, you know, they want to go places like Louisville and Dakota and New Hampshire, man. Like, what are we doing, man? What are we – who going to go there? Ohio, we don't want to go there, man. Come on, TBT. Bless us with some good places, man. Like, come on. Like Dallas or something or Houston. The year before I started working with TBT and doing the podcast, they went to Chicago, which is where I live. And we have Chicago's been back amazing. Since. Yeah, we've been back since, bro. All right, let's do it. The Jalen Barford, Andrew Zolden, Inside TBT Regional next year in Chicago. Chicago, bro, that's a spot. All right, man, thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate you, brother. Clocking out early, that's the dish I don't like. Been getting paid since I was riding on the bike. Hit the pedal with the eighth, hopping on the ninth flight. I've been chilling out of sight. I'll be at the bar tonight. Told the bartender, go and take my car to swipe. You try the same thing but your car get declined white rappers nowadays no we're not too hard to find i'm so dapper with my ways i'm gonna linger in your mind always told me good things look i'm too dull to our patient but i've been way too patient riding bars in my basement i'm anxious in the real world it's time for me to say this the basics the talent in my mind i can't waste it my life is too safe it's my time for it's taking i'm baking my mind every day it's the same ish lazy my grind needs to get a new facelift from the underground and busting through the pavement Rock with it and lean with it My team win it My team win it Now rock with it and lean with it My team turn up when I spit it Now rock with it and lean with it My team win it My team win it Now rock with it and lean with it My team turn up when I spit it Don't think that I'm playing because I'm saving the game And I said that I will be more Cause oh yeah, that is so raving, racing and pacing around all these lames in my lane, out my way, unless you're trying to pay me. Not from the playpen, it's coming from the jungle. When you hear the bell, you better be ready to rumble. Because I'ma grab the gloves and I'm gonna flex my muscles. Go ahead and spit some bars, but you're probably just gonna mumble. A lot of rappers these days really need to get them humble. Cause they think they at the top, they better stop before they stumble. Cause I'm swiping all their biddies while they swiping right on mumble. And your girl, he calls me daddy, but she only Cause you uncle, but no, we not related, homie. No, we not some fam. You never get in clubs, you can't.